Welcome everyone to the first of many tutorial videos I want to do on the last story in which we'll talk about certain aspects of the game or certain fights or certain even things that not many know about. Today we will take a look at a certain specific fight and that's why we're here in Mysterious Forest. So we are here, we're level 18, this is pretty much our first visit to Mysterious Forest, this is pretty much how everyone gets here and everybody knows, well most of you will know that if you go here, instead of proceeding where the game wants you to go, you can drop down the sleds and open this chest with a blighted skull. And behind this chest, you will find a very hard battle. There are level 40 enemies, some 35, but yeah, more or less around level 40. And there is literally no way you can win this right because look, you do like very little damage. 25, 27, yeah, and they one-shot us. So there is literally no hope to do anything. There are two, two treasure chests all the way over there at the end of the path with very powerful things in it, but you cannot get them right now. They're meant for later. You're supposed to come back here when you're around, when you're around level 40 and finish these guys off. But what if I told you that there is a way? to do that at any level with any equipment whatsoever so this is what we're gonna talk about today I'm gonna load my save and I'll walk you through how you can do this yourself now I'm gonna say it immediately it is not worth it for the experience points if you're thinking oh I'm gonna kill level 40 enemies with level 18 cards and get a lot of experience unfortunately uh, that's not the case you will only get one or maybe two levels so yeah it is not worth for the experience but it's worth it for the treasures so let's uh, let's talk about the setup a little bit. But before we do that, let me actually go ahead and re-trigger it, so we can actually examine the enemies from afar. All right. So what do we have here? We have some. We have five cougars. There's a 35 level level 35 one, 40 level 35, not a level 40, not a level 30. And then there are two rapid healers that are level 40. They're not that much of a problem damage-wise. The Cougars, however, do one-shot us, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, see if I can target them from afar, so we can get a bit of extra info. Uh, let's see, can I target the healer from here? Yeah, there we go. Nope, I cannot target it. Well, we only need the Cougars, anyway. So the Cougars are beast enemies, and they're weak against star. Unfortunately, we cannot do star damage yet. But that's pretty much it. Here's how you want to set up your party for this thing. Let's start from Dagran. On Dagran, you're going to give him the best weapon you have. If you bought the Night Zord on the ship, then give him that. A Night Zord plus 5, which you can easily upgrade on the ship, does 1.4 damage to beasts and spiders, and our Cougars are beasts. So Dagran will do more damage. Dagran will be the one that does most of the damage. So give him the best you have, and again, it should be the Night Zord. You literally cannot get anything better than that. It's the my best weapon right now. And I don't think you can, be, can get any better than that. Maybe a Ragged plus 9, uh, but again, the Nizer with the 1.4 multiplier on Beast is probably the best thing you can have on him. As of right now, at least. But if you want to do it later, again, give him the best you have. Uh, on Zale. On Zale, it doesn't really matter what you give Zale. Just give him the best armor you have, though. And then on Yurik, you want to give him the best magic weapon you have. It's probably going to be the Memento Dagger if you're doing it as early as possible. And the Marania, whatever next magic weapon you have. We have the Magic Dagger in this case. That's the strongest thing we have. Now that we've done that, I think we're... Yeah, I think we're done. Uh, Armor-wise, again, give give Zale the best armor. And then Dagger should get second best. Uh, Yurik and Marania third and fourth best, respectively. But... Yeah, it really only matters on Zale, and maybe on Dagram, but mostly on Zale. So this is our strat. We will go ahead and activate Gathering. We'll try to aggro all of them. Some of our party members might die. We kind of need to attract them, and again, we can dodge. And if we dodge, we do not die. We can block and dodge as well. Let's see if we... Did we aggro all of them? No. That one was no aggro. Let's see if I can aggro. Okay, cool. I think I got all of them. You can shoot uh, cougars that are not aggro that you wake them up and make them follow you. Anyway, you're gonna run all the way to the treasure chest, and this is where the trick starts. 
just before they attack you, right about this point, you want to open command mode. And you want to use retreat with Zale. Now, retreat is a command that not many people use. I see on when I look at the let's plays or blind plays. Not a lot of people use retreat. And that's very unfortunate because retreat is very powerful. It says jump to an orb by heal circle of healer. And now... The thing is, the characters will clip through walls and through objects in order to do that. And no matter how far they are, they will reach the nearest heal circle or healer. So that's what we're going to abuse. We're going to power strike with Dagron. That's the only thing he's worth for. Uh, uh, you, do not, you do not really have to use power, full guard. If you do use full guard, he'll die because he'll draw attention of cougars and he'll die one hit. Just power strike. So now, Yurik, uh, let's take a look around with Flare a bit. These guys are casting, that's what we're worried about. We need to take out the Rapid Healers before we can actually start this. Uh, I'll start with this guy, we need to focus them down. Marani will go Leaf, I'll go Leaf on... Yeah, we need to target the same healer, so this one. Now look, when I press A, Zale is going to retreat. Now the retreat command that says, jump to the nearest heal circle or healer, in this case Marani will be our target. Look, boom, I go through walls, and I'm at Marania now, more or less, and there she is. I'm gonna kill, and I will defuse that heal, because I need to get, I need to kill that guy. Come on, keep going, okay. The Kogars are coming here, but we're just gonna kite them away, it's fine. Wait for command mode. We're trying to use our mages to take down the healers, okay. Command mode again. Dagoran is attacking these guys, okay. Uh, I'm gonna tell Yurik to reverse here, because there are some heal circles. Might as well reverse them. Okay, do that. Let's wait for the cats. And you can easily kite them around here. There's plenty of space. Remember to dodge. Use your dodge rolls, they're very useful. Again, we're gonna try to silence these guys, because otherwise they'll keep casting, and that's not good. I keep going. Alright, alright. We're gonna kite our cats away. Keep going, keep going. There are some more dudes here, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay. And again, we're gonna retreat. This time we're gonna use Flare, I believe, yeah. Only one healer? No, this, there's this guy. This guy's casting, though. I want to try with that. Mirani is about to cast. I'm gonna tell her to attack this one. Let's see what I can do. Okay. That's quite a bit of damage. Keep going. Don't know where the cats are. Okay, they're quite close, so we need to get out of here. And we're gonna do this until we kill buff healers, which is usually not that hard to do. I need to defuse silence, because that guy's about to cast. Boom. Come on, guys. Oh. Okay. If that happens, don't worry. Throw aggro again. If all of your party members die, well, you'll draw aggro by default. Uh, stop. Stop doing that. Okay. Mm, I, need to, I need to do something about that. That healer needs to die. And basically, pretty much we're doing this until they die. And usually, it's not that hard. I think we killed one. I cannot target the other one for some reason. It must be dead. The only that one left. We'll do a leaf over there. Okay. Should have enough time to get another command going. Come on, two. Oh, give me the third. Okay. Fourth command segment. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay. Again, we're gonna run. Flare to the healer. I guess that's the healer. I can't see the camera is weird. Stop, thank you, okay. Okay, so we got rid of the healers. Now here's where the real trick starts. Once the healers are dead, what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to get those guys stuck. 
And they already are kind of are stuck, as you can see. They're stuck behind the geometry there. But that's not really the best thing we can do. We can do better than that. So we will call them back here. We'll get them unstuck. And we'll kite around them. Rani isn't really in the best position to do this. Okay, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna dodge this guy. Okay. So we'll bring them back up here. Yurika was over here, but that's okay. All we gotta do is again go to the end of the corridor. Wait. We'll wait until not really the last second. You need to do it a bit earlier than that. Like about here. Street power strike, flare. Wanna target the last one or you just target the one that's closest to Zale. I'm gonna do a heal because I want to recharge my HP a little bit. Okay, and then you're gonna run all the way to this rock. And go up here. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. See this? What that is, is Dagron attacking. Let's see if I can show you. Full guard, just to show you what's going on here. Dagron is attacking Kogars that are stuck in this area. Okay, if they are stuck over here or earlier, uh, you can still do it, but it's not as easy. It'll just take longer. So Dagron is attacking guys over here, right? Because Yurik is there, which it's kind of lucky that he is there because he doesn't always do that. We got Tom Ryan to attack those as well. See if she joins as well. Dagron is doing self chains. He's doing chain attacks without needing another party member. Uh, the way it works is that because the Kogars are taking chip damage from the fire, Dagron can just keep doing that. He's basically chaining his, his attacks with the deep, with the DPS of the fire. It's something that the game doesn't really explain very well, but yeah, there you go. And what you're gonna do here is just this. You know, Mirai is there apparently, which is good. You're just gonna wait. Dagron will keep attacking that one Kogar. And the Cougars are focused on you, so yeah, you won't get attacked back. And as long as you don't either drop gathering or do some or some other weird things, you'll just keep attacking. Just all you gotta do is re recharge power strike every time you see that it runs out. Apply it on Zale so you see when when the aura disappears, just command mode and reapply it again. And at this point, you just wait. You're just gonna have to wait until he's done. And this can take a while, so I will speed up the video, and I will see you back when it'll be almost done. Alright, and we are back, and as you can see, the elf bar or the cougar that is popping up every now and then is almost depleted. He dropped the chain, unfortunately. He got the chain max, but he dropped it for some reason. That can happen, but it builds up really fast, and after 5 it doesn't really matter how high you go. It's almost dead. Soon we'll see the experience point popping up. And then, what we do? There we go. What we do? It, it depends. Okay. So he's... he's he keeps attacking one of the two that remain still stuck over there. Let's take a look. There are still two over here. So he's he's still he's still attacking those. Okay. So we're gonna keep doing this for quite a bit. Again, we're gonna pass turn. Pass turn if if Mer if Yurik or if Yurik and Mirania or Mirania or either two are where Dagron is, just keep passing the turns. Do not change target. Because it might mess up the AI, they might move to a different spot where they cannot hit. Just keep them there, if they're there, just pass their turrets, okay? Well, that one already took a, a lot of damage, so it won't take as long, thankfully. I'll see you on the other side. And we're back, and Dagron almost killed the second Cougar. Which should be able to see the spear point. There we go. And let's see what he does now. Is he going to attack? No. So he's going to attack one of those two. Uh, Yurik and Marania are still attacking that one. We will now switch targets. So we'll do Power Strike, Power Strike. We'll go Flare. 
And this time we'll attack the same one that Dagon is attacking. So that we all are sure that they're focusing down the same enemy. Unfortunately, again, that is not the best spot to attack them. Again, the best spot is where the other one is stuck. So what we're gonna do is just one... We're just gonna do a big... Rekiting. Uh, I do want to use command mode here just to see where the party members are. Uh, okay, Marania's going back. Good. Remember that you need to use Marania to do the retreat trick, so... Yeah. Also, when you do this, when you when you do your roll near the Cougars, and they are they're attacking and you, the, well, you dodge, uh, your party members can still get hit. So be careful. Okay, so what is Dagon doing right now? He's trying to attack that one, which is the furthest away, which is annoying. We don't want that. That is not optimal. We'll grab these in the meantime. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. I am so dead right now. I'll try to retreat anyway. Usually, if they are in the attack animation and you start the command mode, you're dead. Because you're not invulnerable during your jump. I'm gonna go ahead and do... In this case... Well, let's see what you can do in this case. In this case, set Mariah to heal. Okay, I'm good. Never mind. That was very lucky, though. Okay, let's see what Dagrat's doing. Still not attacking the right one. Okay, Yurik is, though. Okay, we'll, we'll just keep Mariah on heal for now. It's fine. We'll do another kite. Mirania is, Mirania is our entrance. Is, she's our escape point. We need her to retreat away. Hey, Dodds. Where is Dagrin right now? Okay, this time we might get them stuck for good. At least, maybe a couple of them. Let's see. Retreat, power strike. We're gonna flare. What is Dagger? I think Dagger is going for this one. And we got set Mirania on heal again. Go away. And run all the way here. Are they all stuck there? Seems like it. Yurik is there, and we really, we really only need one maze over to Dagger. We got really lucky. Usually that is not that easy. Like maybe we can try we can see this with Mirania. Yeah, they're all here. They're all stuck. Okay, so Dagron is attacking. I think it's this one. Well, we'll... Yurik, you keep doing what you were doing. Now, I'm gonna try to go Leaf. And we're gonna see what the AI does with Morania, because... It's pretty stupid. Let's see if I know what's, what's gonna happen. Morania's gonna go there, and she'll try to hit from there. Mm, she's going? Okay, what usually happens... Murphy's Love never allows me to show what will happen to you, probably. Is that Mirania or Yurik will be there. They will try to cast, but they will hit this root. And they will keep doing that for whatever reason, even though they're not hitting the enemies. In this case, we got real lucky. But it's okay, because that means... Oh, God. Wait, they got unstuck somehow. Okay, great. Uh, well, we, gotta, we just gotta re-kite. I'm gonna set Mariah to heal now again because that will allow me to. Well, you skip. Mariah, you. No, don't heal. Everybody keeps doing whatever you guys were doing. I guess I left Mariah. I want Mariah to leave this one so that she'll get out of there. There you go, Mariah. Get out of there. Thank you. Okay, we'll do another kiting. Over here. It's this one I'm worried about. Oop. Okay, Dagron's coming, okay. Over here. Command mode. I think... What is Dagron doing? Hang on. Okay, Dagron's going for this one, which is what we want. The optimal, the optimal setup or situation is that Dagron is going after the closest to you. Uh, that's not a good spot for Mirania. I'm gonna lock her, lock in her in place with heal. Hopefully that will get them stuck. Uh, 
I think one is stuck, and that's what we want. At least one. Tell me that one is stuck there. No, it's not stuck. We need to re-kite. That's okay. Mirani was in a bad spot. We'll just roll around them again. Okay, good god. Gagarin did not get hit. That was very close. But they're... They're all grouped up, so we might get them all three stuck right now. Let's see. One, two, three. There they are. Boom, command. Okay. I should be able to survive this. Go! How was this game? It seems pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let me take a look at that. What's going on over here? Yeah, they're all stuck behind this rock. Nice. Very, very nice. Dagron, keep attacking. Yuri, keep doing what you're doing. Let's see if Marania does behave weirdly or not. Apparently today she is pretty clever. But again, she will get stuck there. And Yurik as well. They will both do the same thing. And there's nothing you can do other than pray that they will wake up and go all the way to where Dagron is. Maybe change what commands they're doing, like from heal to leap or from flare to reverse, and see what, if that changes anything on their, their AI. I have not found a way to reliably do this yet. But hey. Let's go and kill the third one and see what happens. And we are back. Dagron almost killed another cougar. The elf bear is almost empty at this point. Let's see. Should be any moment now. We need to reapply power strike. Oh, I saw the experience points. So. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, there it is. Well, this one is also pretty close. The thing is, the last ones will be probably a low HP because they are. They got blasted by magic this whole time and they've been taking cheap damage from the magic circles so yeah it won't take long to kill this one i'm not even gonna speed this up it's almost dead anyway i'll reply power strike and pass the other turns i think it's gone yep that's done one more and that one still has some bunch of hp so yeah that that's gonna take a bit 147 with a normal attack. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Let's speed this up. Okay, now, it's, I guess it's almost dead. Okay, ah, uh, never mind. And there you go, as you can see, is it worth it to do it for the levels? It is not, You we only got one level from that. Yeah. But yeah, we successfully defeated the Cougars and Mysterious Forest at level 18. And again, this is doable at any level. It'll be, of course, longer if you do it at a lower level with uh, lower, uh, with, I guess, weaker weapons. And faster if you do it at a higher level. And this is something I did in my uh, no upgrade run. Because the thing is, in the, the no upgrade run, you can come over here and grab the Guardian Blade. And the Guardian Blade is pretty powerful at this point in the game. Because it gives you... Yep, a hundred attack from four hundred. Uh, yeah, we were what? We were at three hundred forty-eight. We could go all the way up to four hundred, but yeah, it doubles doubles your attack basically. And at this point, uh, the rest of the area is pretty easy, and yeah. 
you know, have fun. Have fun. Uh, I showed you how you can do that, and it took me, let's see, we are at 3.39 of playtime, if we load. Uh, let's say 3.40. 3.40 of playtime. Yeah, 40 minutes, around a bit less than 40 minutes, and I was a level 18 with a maxed out Night Sword. It took me an hour with my upgrade list run, in which I had an Undead Edge plus one, I think, which I found already upgraded. But yeah, uh, there you go. This is how you defeat the uh, the Cougars in Mysterious Forest. But again, if you come here level 40, you can just fight normally. This is how you can do it at any level with any equipment. And with that said, I'll see you all in the next tutorial video for the last story.